I had an, an idea to create a book about Mexican orchids just because I saw there was a need for it. And so I'm not actually a professional botanist. I work as a professional botanist, but not by training. So my training was as a historian and undergraduate. And I went to get a master's degree in business administration. And so none of those things are, have anything to do with botany. But I worked in botany just because I liked it. And so I approached the government and I asked them, I have this idea to write a book uh, about Mexican orchids. I think that it could be used in the future to spur economic development for um, to change over Mexican farmers who are, who are growing conventional flower crops, roses and lilies and things like that. And then in the, in the future, perhaps, they, instead of growing those kinds of like low margin crops, that they can grow high margin crops like orchids. And so the government didn't really have much of an interest in the book at, per se, but they did have an interest in doing economic development. And so they agreed to fund my research with the idea that it could be parlayed into um, economic development for the region. So the area where I worked was the state of Mexico. And the state of Mexico wraps around the federal district where Mexico, Mexico City is. Um, in the same way Maryland wraps around Washington, D.C. And Mexico State is a very important flower producing state in, in Mexico. It's like the most, uh, I think a quarter of all the flowers grown in Mexico are grown in Mexico State. And so for that reason, it's a very important sector of the economy for the Mexican state government that you know, they wanted to promote um, development. Um, it's not, they don't really see it in so much as entrepreneurship, but they see it more as um, new possibilities for future businesses, I think. So, which I guess in a, in, a, in a sense is entrepreneurship, it's just that the government's never, sit, that's not a term the government's like down there. And interestingly enough, in Spanish, there's no term for entrepreneurship. And so, you know, maybe that needs to change. Um, but governments don't really talk about entrepreneurship or, or business creation. They talk about job opportunities, but it's never really from the standpoint of a, an entrepreneur creating the jobs, which I, th I think personally is the best way to do it.